Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today we're talking about Star Marine and its intended features when it's going to be dropped with 2.6 that were shown in the anniversary live stream, but also more recently in the forums and on RTV 3.14, which focused on Foundry 42, Germany's studio. The too long didn't watch version is Star Marine is coming as part of the 2.6 update planned for a live release for the 8th of December. The general features of the game are going to be quick jump in FPS matchmaking, two maps, a 4v4 on Damien Station, a 12v12 uh, on Echo 11 Station, and I say those numbers, what I mean is maximum of 12v12 and 4v4 uh, on those particular maps. Um, two game modes, deathmatch and point control, new UI scoreboards and loads of FPS improvements are coming as well, new weapons, grenades, equipment, it's going to be a tactical FPS gameplay, or at least that's its intention. But let's talk about what we're getting in the first iteration, what we've seen already, and what we're going to get in the near future too. So, the Star Marine demo, the gameplay we saw from the latest stable build of Star Marine, which was um, from the uh, anniversary live stream. It showed off Damien Station, which is a 4v4 game mode, and in particular showed off a point capture game mode. You have to interact with a point to hack it over a few seconds, which makes you very vulnerable, so you need cover from people, or at least to know that everyone else around you is dead. Um, that gives you control of the point. There was infinite respawning, but you respawn back it towards your spawn area, which is quite far away um, from the control points, or at least a distance enough away for that other people can capture them, and you dying is annoying. Having the most points after a round timer ends, or hitting the points goal wins you that match. You should be rewarded then with some rec, some um, rental equipment credits to purchase some new equipment with. Gameplay-wise, it looks pretty run and gun at the moment, and this was not intentional here. In the game um, that was shown, players had the same weapon loadouts, which was uh, me all with medium armour as well. So their time to kill for everyone was a bit higher due to that armour. There was no differentiation between people, no tactical gameplay um, from choice of what you're actually wearing and gameplay choices. So the first iteration of Star Marine that we should have will have more custom loadouts at least with light and medium armors or light and medium characters uh, and a variety of weapon options as well. Eventually we're going to have flight suits and heavy armor as well and these builds should be pretty modular so we can mess around with exactly what we're wearing and why we'd want to have heavy shoulder pads with light leggings or something um, because there is going to be a more or less mobile system based on the amount of armor and equipment you have. Armor scales the amount of damage you take but makes you less mobile effectively. Also, we saw um, the the system where everyone was running around. Now, this isn't as intended from the anniversary live stream. That all those guys were just running around like mad people, running gun style. That's because the game there had no fatigue system, and that was not intentional. There was an issue with it. So players were able to run indefinitely with no side effects. This, not intentional. Um, so... Armor types and loadouts will decrease your speed and increase the rate you get fatigued. Uh, you will only be able to run while you're not fatigued, and this might affect your aiming as well, based on how much fatigue you've, you've currently got. If you've been running for ages, are you in loads of heavy armor? Have you just been fighting? That sort of thing. The cover system and mantling and vaulting. So in this build, we didn't really see much of it, although it was in that anniversary live stream build. Um, because everyone was running around, it was much more advantageous for them to use those running gun tactics rather than use cover. So the cover system, if you're close to a wall, you'll be effectively in cover mode. Your gun will point up. If you aim down sight, you will move around the corner. And changing your aim will move you around the corner more or less based on where you're trying to aim. Obviously, that's more third person than third per first person. But people will have to see you more the more you try and lean around the corner. Uh, jumping over a railing or appropriate object will have you vaulting over it. Uh, melee. So melee will also be coming with 2.6 again, uh, and uh, basically you use your currently equipped weapon to hit the target. Bam! Uh, it, I think it was an instant kill as well if you did it uh, in the current build. The actual combat at the moment is going to be quite kind of generic FPS at first. And at least that's what we saw. There will be EVA, obviously. There, there was a transition between EVA to, to ground combat or station combat. There were breakable and destructible props. And it does look very good, but is very simple at the moment. And it will get a lot more added and more refined later, but at the moment, very simple. 
Uh, players do have radars, which show both enemies and friendlies under certain circumstances. Wasn't entirely sure of the rules of the radar at the moment. They have talked about um, sonar-based radars uh, as well that they'll have in the future. Uh, grenades. So we're going to have the Mark IV frag grenades with the first release of Star Marine, but more grenades will be coming later. What grenades do you ask? Incendiary, cluster, EMP, and radar distortion, all of which are from the bearing manufacturer. Uh, expect more later as well, grenades-wise. Um, grenades can also be cooked just hold down the button to start the timer and then release the button to throw it. Just make sure that you release it a good time before it explodes. Uh, grenade explosions are quite large. Grenades can be rolled or thrown based on, at the moment, um, where you're looking. If you're looking above the center line of the screen, um, this will change uh, to a lob or a throw. If you're looking under it, it will change to a roll. And this kind of system they've got on at the moment might be iterated upon, might be changed for a more user-friendly experience as needed. And again, this system will be uh, used for all thrown objects or gadgets in the future. We are likely to see no real gadgets in the first iteration, unfortunately, but they will be adding deployables, holograms, um, deployable shields, traps, and lots, lots more. Expect the earning of wreck and played via arena commander modes to allow you to rent all this equipment in the future as well. So you're able to rent different guns, you're able to rent, rent all that different, um, uh, all those different deployables, all those different gadgets, and then that sort of jazz. Animations. So there's been quite a lot of work on animations in 2.6. Character faces, movement, procedural recoil for weapons, um, as well as uh, all the new ones for mantle and cover and such. It's good to point out here again that first and third person models are unified, which means that when you see someone doing something, that's actually what they're doing from their first person view and third person view. It's exactly the same. You, when, where they're shooting is where they're shooting. Where the bullets come out of their barrel of their gun is where they're shooting. You can see exactly where they're looking at. That's really quite cool for a first person shooter. For 2.6, there are two characters for each of the teams, which are Marines and Slavers or Outlaws. Um, and we've seen that, them as light and medium armor versions. These use um, the Persistent Universe and Squadron 42 assets. So the Marines we see in Star Marine are basically showing off some of the bits from Squadron 42. The intention here is to have Star Marine as a tactical shooter where your choices matter and you can win or lose games based on those choices. Obviously this won't be true of all the modes that they put out, but it's supposed to kind of avoid that run and gun style of Call of Duty. Um, it's supposed to strike a happy balance between a, an extreme kind of um, armor based shooter and Call of Duty, a nice middle ground where you've got fun, but realism and it's a tactical shooter. Um, so hopefully that will be fixed for our build. All the features of Star Marine and the Star Citizen Persistent Universe are all interchangeable. They will aid each other. The arcadiness um, that we get from Star Marine comes really from the game modes and the jump in and play matchmaking uh, that Star Marine has, meaning that if you die, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? It's a, it's a virtual game and a game. Um, it does allow for a lot of testing and balancing for the first person shooter mechanics, as well as rapid iterations on changes and new updates and that sort of stuff. Up to Star Citizen 2.5, we've had an incredibly simplistic FPS gameplay. But with 2.6, we do get a little bit more. Um, and this will continue to have more and more added uh, to it as the weeks roll on. Still to come, for example, we've got gravity generators to turn on and off gravity on certain sections of levels. Satterball, which will be the Team V Team Enders game style uh, mode in uh, Zero Gravity. Many, many more gadgets, more armor, more weapons, general loadout options, um, more game modes, more maps, lots more maps. Uh, FPS versions of um, um, Vandal Swarm, basically, where you're um, PvE fighting, uh, which is, that's going to be quite exciting for me. I'm very much looking forward to station defenses and ship defenses where you're just fighting against boarding actions. That sort of stuff for Star Marine is very, very exciting. Also expect lots of better animations, better and better every time in fact, and better net code, and general complexity of the game as we go forward. So it moves away slightly more from that very simplistic FPS and moves slightly more into more tactical feeling game where your choices and loadouts matter. You need to think about what you're going to do before you do it, and there's a little bit more sort of like um, thought there. This intention of the game that we're about to see is very much first stage um, and allows them to improve core mechanics, to get feedback and change what needs to be changed or improve it. Um, in the future, we're going to see a lot more about balance, but first it's going to be those core mechanics and then we'll start to see a lot more balance and a, and a lot more gameplay and a lot more feeling for the game. Expect something that's pretty good. Hopefully it won't be too buggy, but anyway, 
Thanks very much, guys. What do you think of Star Marine that we saw at the moment? What do you think they should be um, aiming for gameplay-wise? How important is it to get there a really super polished first-person shooter? Or is it not important as the rest of the mechanics in Star Citizen? Is that first-person shooter mechanic, it, as long as it's done well, it doesn't need to be a fucking amazing sort of thing? So tell me what you think about that, pun my French. Because... Um, uh, it's, it's, it's a polarizing debate, and, and I like to talk about it. And you can win yourself a spaceship from just commenting on any of my Star Citizen videos uh, for the month of November. That is an Avenger Titan. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, as it really does help me. Uh, I am very much looking forward to the 2.6 drop, hopefully, by uh, around the uh, 8th of December. Um, check out the various links in the description below um, for uh, all the, the, the source materials of what we've discussed, uh, as well as the schedule report, which tells us tells us the current blockers, what they're working on, what they've currently completed, and the internal targeted dates for everything, which will be updated weekly. That is the best thing that's happened for open development for this game ever, in my opinion. So check that out, guys. Anyway, you take care, and I'll see you in the verse.